I was moving very quickly from one camp to the next. As soon as I secured the evidence in the camp and I heard there was another camp someplace else, I raced off to the other camp because if you didn't do that, everything was destroyed. The American Army, for one, would come in and destroy everything they could. And the inmates themselves tore everything apart. So I was moving from one camp to another. Buchenwald. I didn't remember the name Buchenwald at the time. I remember Ordruff because we took pictures at Ordruff. And these additional slave labor camps all around the main camps, there were many of them. So I would go from one camp to the next. Avensay, Mutthausen, Flossenburg, Ordruff. These are names that I recall and that come to mind. Sometimes I knew it at the time, and usually I didn't. I just knew it was a concentration camp. And in one of those camps, it may have been Buchenwald, but I don't think so. It was probably Ebensee or Flossenburg, or, and it wasn't Mauthausen that was too big. Uh, one of the uh, inmates in the Schreibstube came to me as soon as I came in, and he said, I've been waiting for you. And uh, I said, what for? And he said, come with me. And he took a shovel, and he took me out of the room, which was their office, and we walked away into the camp next to the electric fence, which was part of the surrounding barbed wire. And there he dug a hole. And I remember it was right near the post of a fence. And he dug a hole with the shovel, and then he took out a bundle. It was a box wrapped in, looked like rags. And he said, let's go back to the office. And I went back to the office, and he opened this. Well, apparently, in that particular camp, the SS had their own sort of social club where they went for drinking at night. And membership in the club was evidenced by a little identity card, two sides folded together, inside with their photograph, and check off how many times they attended the club. And it had the name of the man and the date of birth and other identifying things as well as the membership. And when the stamps were filled on that club, uh, on that card, he got another card. And this inmate had to type up the new one and destroy the old ones. Instead of destroying the old ones, he saved them. Now, every time he did that, he ran the risk of being killed for disobeying orders. But he saved them. And he put them all together, and he buried them, knowing that one day there would be a day of retribution. And for him to have risked his life every day, and yet retained the hope that there would be freedom for him someday, I thought it was a marvelous thing, and it was a tremendous piece of evidence, because I had the record and the photograph and identification of every SS man who had gone through that camp in that period of time.